Hello everyone, my name is Lightning Keyboards, or Lightning, or Diego, as some might call me. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to program your Fave PCB for Linworks keyboards. Um, so the Fave series of PCBs is developed by Lin, is made by Lin of Linworks, who is a designer of keyboards such as the Whale, the Dolphin, the Dollinger, the Dollpad, the EM7, among other keyboards. And the Fave series of PCBs is programmed by using a tool called Fave Tool. This is a software that you can download um, at the Linworks Discord server, for which, um, for the link of the Discord server, I'll put it right here. So here you have the link to the Discord server. You should try to copy it down and access it there. There is a downloads channel in this server where you can access the most recent Fave Tool um, software zip file. Um, so the current version that we're using today is going to be the 3.3 version. So starting from the 2.0 version, uh, Fave Tool transitioned into this new user interface. And this is why I'm making this video today. And so for, um, for programming your Fave, uh, Fave Tool compatible PCB, you will require, first of all, Fave Tool, the, the, the zip file that is in this downloads um, channel. You should first download it to your computer. This is Windows compatible only, so you cannot do this on a Mac or, a, or in a Linux machine, so you will need a Windows machine. Um, second of all, you should extract the downloaded folder. And inside of, um, Inside of the zip file or, or the extracted folder from the zip file, rather, um, you will find two or three folders inside. Um, among these, the most important, um, the most important uh, two folders will be the client folder and the firmware folder. So the client is going to be the software with which which has a user interface with which you will program your PCB, and the firmware folder will have um, will have one file called the bin file, which will be um, copied over to your PCB each time you want to flash your keyboard. And so in order to flash your keyboard, uh, when you have your fave PCB, so in this case, we have a Geonworks um, F18X here. The Geonworks F18X shipped with a fave 87 TKL PCB. Um, the fave 87 series of PCBs actually come in a variety of colors. Uh, these are TKL compatible PCBs and the 87 only, uh, so Fave 87 comes in, in white. And there is the Fave 87B PCB, which is for PCBs that come in different colors, such as black, purple, uh, yellow, among others. And so the Fave TKL PCBs come in these two different versions. You should always select the correct version when you're um, using the tool. Um, so let me show you first of all how you should flash um, your key, uh, your keyboard PCB with the correct file, and then proceed to open it up on Fave Tool. Um, so every time you have a Fave PCB and you have any issues, you can always reflash to the newest version available on the Linworks Discord server, as I indicated earlier. Um, so first, in order to um, flash your PCB. Uh, in the case of bare PCBs, you can use tweezers, uh, but in this case, it's an already built uh, keyboard here. Um, what you're first going to do, sometimes when you first plug in your um, uh, your cable to your keyboard, you might see that there is this special drive called CRP disabled. And um, it's a flash uh, drive that pops up from the PCB. Uh, but this is basically whenever the keyboard, uh, whenever the PCB, um, is not detected by the computer or it automatically boots into this bootloader mode or into this flash storage mode. Um, in the case of already um, like pre-used uh, PCBs, this might not be the case. So sometimes you might actually just want to flash or update your firmware, for example, and this is what you will be doing. You first press hold escape. Uh, you might be using tweezers if you're using a bare PCB, and then you just plug in your cable. So in my case, I've plugged it in and a new window showing this has popped up and i will show this in just a minute so here is my windows explorer um, showing uh, in this case nothing right now but as you can see here i have the crp disabled drive the g drive here in my case and here we have the fir the firmware dot bin file well first of all what you want to do is you want to delete the firmware.bin file inside of the PCB. 
So I will go ahead and delete it. Confirm the deletion of it. And then next, what you want to do is go to your um, go to your fav um, tool uh, folder that you just extracted from that uh, zip file that you just downloaded for uh, for flashing. So in my case, I have it. I'm, I'm currently doing that on a separate um, Explorer window. And you go to the firmware folder inside of that um, uh, extracted folder, and then you're just going to copy, copy over, and then paste the bin file. So here I have the fave final 3.3 bin file in this case, and that's that, that's done. Okay. Now next step is you're just going to unplug your PCB. So now that window is going to disappear. And next, um, you just plug in your PCB once again. And this time, your um, your PCB has been detected by the machine. And the next step for you to do is to open up Fave Tool. Um, so to open up Fave Tool, you just go again to your um, Fave Tool folder once again. Go to the client folder inside there, and open up the client. And so when you open up the client, something like this should show up. So the first step to programming your piece to configuring your PCB is going to be as follows. Once this once this fave tool is open, go on to the drop down menu here where it says fave full in my case. And in this case, you need to just select the correct PCB. In my case, it's the fave 87, not the fave 87B, but just the regular 87. Click on that and then click on connect. And then it should automatically configure the window display to the correct size. And you'll see down here below that it says connected fave keyboard 87 in my case. I want to first make sure that I can configure the default layout onto the PCB. So if you click on transfer here, it will send the data, this data to the keyboard. So now it has officially sent the first key map onto the keyboard. Um, so if you open up, let's say, um, some uh, testing um, testing um, software, you actually see that, or you can actually see here on Fave Tool that it, when I press the keys, you can actually see that it displays the keys that are being pressed. Great. Now, now here you're officially done programming your keyboard, but you can actually change any of the any of the different um, keys here. For, so for example, I want to program my caps lock to control because that's something I normally use. So I'll program to left control here, for example. And in my case, I, I, I move my um, Windows key here to the uh, lower corner. Um, so I want to program that as left GUI or left window key. And then I don't use scroll lock. So I like, for example, programming that to a function key. So I go to the FN and layer RGB. And here there is the FN key here. So I click on FN. And then we can head on over to a general tab again. And then here, it, there is the layer one. We can head on over to layer FN one here on the drop down menu. There's a lot that shows up here, but essentially I want to program, let's say, uh, just these three keycaps I want to program to media keys. Um, so in my case, I want to program that as previous, um, uh, play, pause, and then next. And then maybe here I want to program for volume. So mute and volume down and volume up. So these are the changes I've made. Um, so now I can go, I can just confirm that everything is correct here on the layers that I want. You can just configure all the layers that you want. And then the next step is to just click on transfer once again. And it will have transferred the, um, the data. And so I can actually test this out right now. If I press on uh, if I press on the function key and then press here, it should stop the music that's currently playing and play it again. So great, now it's programmed your keyboard. So now um, in the default state of your PCB, so maybe this is the first time you connect your um, PCB. So let me hit connect again. So now when you every time you hit connect, it actually shows you the default layout. It shows you the default configuration it does not mean this is the configuration that's currently programmed on your PCB. It simply is the default that's set by the program. You can get 
the data from your PCB onto the Fave tool software. And by to do that, you just hit on, on get data here. So if you hit on get data here, it will load up the data that's currently on my PCB on this particular keyboard. We just programmed in left control here as shown and left GUI here, right? And a function key here under scroll lock position. So as you can see, you can actually get the original key map that you actually had programmed onto your PCB back onto your um, onto your tool. And then here you can actually start making any changes that you want. So every time you want to make any changes, you first can you first uh, hit drop down menu, uh, click on the right PCB format, click on connect and then get data immediately after so that you can actually work on the key map that you currently have um, at that point on the PCB. However, if this is your first time programming your PCB, I suggest connecting onto your PCB and then hitting transfer right away so that you can send the default layout at the very least onto your PCB. Uh, here you can actually save files. So you can click on save here in order to save the current configuration onto your uh, as, as a file on your in, in your hard drive, or you can actually open up any save file such as that. Uh, but anyway, um, here um, I'm pretty much done programming my PCB, so you can just go ahead and close Fave Tool, and that's it. Uh, you've, we've successfully programmed our Fave Tool um, compatible PCB. Um, if you have any questions or if you need any help, let me know. Um, and yeah, um, so anytime there is a new release for any new software. Uh, for Fave tool, uh, they will be um, put on. Lin has a blog uh, for 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 those in Korea, but he always will also publish it onto the downloads channel in the Linworks Discord server. These are official releases for the Fave tool, and every time there's a new release, I would highly suggest um, trying out. Um, if you have had any issues with your PCB, uh, I would highly suggest first updating to the most recent. Um, uh, fave tool version for your firmware and client so the firmware and the client must match you cannot use the firmware file for let's say 3.3 and use it with fave tool version 3.4 if you're using any version that's different um, from the firmware that you originally had you must switch over to the new zip file okay so just make sure you always have the most recent file and uh, you'll be good to go all right, thank you so much, guys, and I hope you take care and stay safe. See ya.